So that's the problem with taking auditions, right? Is that there's just so much to be overwhelmed by. There's finding where and when auditions are happening, learning the excerpts, you know, how do these even go? Am, am I doing this right? And traveling to get to the auditions. And let's not even forget the core issues, performing the excerpts while dealing with nervousness and knowing that every note is being judged because you're competing with other candidates for maybe just one position. Look, I know that if you want to play with a great orchestra, there's a lot to be overwhelmed by. But at least for me, and I think for you as well, there's this sense of, I can do that. Or at least, I'd like to try to do that. And that's why I built VioinExcerpts.com, to bridge that gap between I want to do it and I did it. At the heart of the website are two things, excerpt research and exceptional practice resources. Both of these are catered for people who want to start learning excerpts and who want to grow and continue to perform them more confidently. You'll also find a curated library of resources from leaders in audition preparation and myself. I've been successfully taking auditions for over a decade now and have figured out what works and what doesn't. Actually, I'll tell you a little bit more about myself while I'm at it. I started taking orchestra auditions when I was doing my undergrad at Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh, mostly just for local orchestras, but after I graduated, I just wasn't sure that I wanted to continue on the orchestra track. I knew I wasn't as good of a violinist as some of my classmates, and I just felt really discouraged by that. So I took a year off, I played in a string quartet on a cruise ship, and I moved to Nashville to become a freelance violinist where I had the good fortune of playing on video game soundtracks and touring with country music legends. I got to play the Grand Old Opry. And I also started subbing on a regular basis with the Nashville Symphony. And while I was in Nashville, I realized that I still really enjoyed playing orchestra music. It was just the audition preparation part that I didn't like. So I started studying the excerpts more in depth and eventually I won auditions and held contracts with the Memphis Symphony Orchestra, the Huntsville Symphony, the Nashville Opera, and the Louisville Orchestra. And while I am trying to impress you with my resume, I have to point out that I have failed and been rejected at auditions far more times than I have ever been successful. I know how miserable it feels to prepare for an audition for months, spend way too much money on travel and a hotel, to only play for five minutes in here. Thank you. So I started working on a better way to prepare for auditions. The first step was to organize sheet music and recordings in one convenient place. Violinexcerpts.com was that result. No more digging through piles of sheet music or skimming through an hour long symphony to try to find the 15 seconds you were looking for. Everything you needed, all the excerpts were right here in one convenient place with a couple options for quick tempo comparisons. But the work that I'm really excited about are the video lessons. Each is about 30 minutes long and it goes into depth on the details of preparing and practicing an excerpt. I chose a multimedia approach as opposed to just a written blog post or just an audio recording because this is the best way to communicate all the information. These are videos that you're actually going to want to watch because they're the core excerpt insights presented in an engaging, effective, and memorable way. Maybe your teacher doesn't even specialize in orchestral music. If you're trying to learn excerpts on your own but you're not sure if you're doing it right, then these videos are for you. I walk you through every measure and make sure you know exactly how it's supposed to go. You can watch these videos 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and replay any section you didn't fully understand as many times as you need to. Of course, studying with a great orchestral violinist in person would be ideal, but they're surprisingly hard to find. And there's a lot of bad teachers out there. In my studies, I found there's basically four archetypes of bad teachers, and they are as follows. No, no, no. These are not the fingerings you are looking for. To understand the music, you have to first understand yourself. And to understand yourself, you have to understand So, more 
Vibrato. So, you have no business taking this audition. You teach children. Period. Yeah, those excerpts sound bad, but at least you look good while you're playing them. If you want, I'll show you some of my bowings and fingerings later tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. You have an audition when? And you expect me to teach you all these excerpts? I mean, when are you gonna play your concerto for me? I mean, I've got the Latin Maestro and... Just, just a second. Hi, Amy. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was, I'll send this to you right away. Here, I'll send you an email. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I have to deal with this. Here, you know, just, just take this and photocopy anything you need. It's all in here. But my overarching problem with studying with great teachers and the problem with the audition training material that's already online is that a lot of these experts just really don't understand how hard auditions really are. I've heard too many bios that sound like, so after I graduated from Juilliard, then I did two years at the New World Symphony, and I took a couple of auditions before getting my gig at the New York Philharmonic. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna need one more of these before we go too. Those guys are all fantastic musicians, but all their advice just seems to come down to, just play it perfectly like how I do, and you'll win. Gee, thanks. But how? So I promised myself that I would never take myself too seriously, that I would always try to explain things in a non-condescending way, that I would respect everyone regardless of their ability, and that I would do the hard work now in creating these videos so that others could learn and improve from what I've gone through. These videos take a long time to make, so I'll be releasing one about every month or so. They've only been available for a little while, but I've already received many encouraging messages from violinists all over the world who have benefited from the lessons, and I'm sure you will as well. I believe that preparing for an audition is a combination of both art and science, and it takes a lot of self-motivation as well as support from other people, and that it takes some natural talent but it also takes a lot of hard work. And so I built VioinExcerpts.com for two reasons. Because it's really hard to prepare for an audition, but there's a lot of enjoyment and creativity and excitement that comes from playing with a great orchestra and having a life in the performing world. Maybe VioinExcerpts.com is the place for you to help you on your journey. If you're looking for some get rich quick or some audition hack or empty promise, you won't find that stuff here. But if you want your audition experiences to be something that you're proud of, if this resonates with you, then I hope to see you at VioinExcerpts.com. You can click the link below this video to see the list of video lessons available for purchase or the full list of excerpts. Thanks, be well, and practice well.